All right, listeners, ready to dive deep. We're jumping headfirst into hoodoo blues. And let me tell you, this ain't your grandma's book club. No, sir, not even close. We're talking 1970s America blues music, the Mississippi Delta, and oh, yeah, a little bit of that supernatural spice for good measure. It's fascinating how the author uses the blues, this genre, so rooted in the African-American experience mm. to explore these bigger themes, you know, race mm -hmm. identity, the whole idea of chasing your dreams. Mm -hmm. It's really powerful stuff. So put on your platform shoes and grab your bell bottoms because we're going back to a time of change, rebellion, some seriously groovy music. Oh, absolutely. And our main man, Jack, he's right in the thick of it, a young musician in Ann Arbor, Michigan, <sighs> trying to make it big in the music scene. That's a really clever move by the author, don't you think? I mean, putting Jack in Ann Arbor a place practically exploding with rock music. Yeah. It's such a contrast to the blues. You know, a genre born in the Mississippi Delta. Mm -hmm. That geographical and cultural tension. Mm. It's like the author sets the stage for Jack's own internal struggle. And while Jack's figuring things out in Michigan, we meet Dorothy. Right. She's about to uncover a family secret. Turns out she's got ties to a legendary bluesman. Now talk about a legacy. Right. And hold on, we got Moses, too. He's on a quest to recover a stolen guitar. Oh, yeah. It belonged to his grandfather, none other than the legendary Robert Johnson. But here's the thing. This ain't just any guitar. This one practically vibrates with power. Some might even say demonic energy. Yeah. It's giving spooky vibes, for sure. And if a potentially cursed guitar wasn't enough, we've got Gibby, a World War II vet. With a whole lot of wisdom and a deep understanding of, well, let's just call it the other side. Right. You know, one of the things that struck me about Gibby is how the novel brings in his experiences during the war. Oh, absolutely. I mean, particularly the Freeman Field mutiny. It adds a whole other layer to the story. Talk about a heavy dose of history and social commentary. It's like the novel is showing us that even though the music scene's changing, the fight for equality, for recognition, it's a constant. It's far from over. And you know what really gets me about this book? It's not just about the history, the music. Mm. It's about the raw human stuff. Yeah. You know, love, loss, that deep need for connection. Wow, absolutely. Like Jack and Melissa. Mm. He's so driven by his music, but she feels left behind. It's a classic struggle, right? It's yeah. ambition versus love. It's so relatable. And Hoodoo Blues nails that emotional complexity. The blues, it's not just about singing the notes. It's about the stories behind those notes. Uh -huh. The heartaches, the longing, the moments of triumph. Totally. Like that scene where Jack's trying to explain the blues to Melissa. He's like, it's like the music says all the things I can't, the things we all feel but don't know how to put into words. Man, that hits hard. It does. And then there's this whole other layer, this hoodoo thing. Right. It's not just ghosts and spells. You know what I mean? It feels ancient, like a way of understanding the world beyond what we can see. It's about connecting to ancestral wisdom, understanding that balance between the seen and the unseen. It's deep stuff. Yeah, it's intense. And speaking of intense, have we talked about this crossroads in Mississippi? Oh, yeah, the crossroads. The author builds so much suspense around it. Well, it's like this central point in blues mythology. Yeah. A place of power decisions, maybe even a deal with the devil. Heady stuff. But in Hoodoo Blues, it feels even bigger than that. Like it's where everything comes together. Not just the characters, but all those themes we've been talking about. Race, destiny, the weight of the past. Whoa. So it's like all roads literally and figuratively lead to this crossroads. Exactly. And when those characters finally collide, watch out. Okay, so no spoilers, but what's the vibe like at the climax? What's at stake here? Man. The tension is off the charts. You can practically feel it crackle. And what's at stake? It's not just their lives. It's their destinies. Their very souls. And that guitar man, that guitar plays a huge role. I bet. So the stakes are high, like life-altering high. It's kind of mind-blowing when you think about it, music having that kind of power, you know, to shape destiny. It's both exhilarating and terrifying at the same time. I right, totally. So how does the author even begin to wrap up this whole light versus darkness, destiny versus free will thing. Well, that's the beauty of it. Hoodoo Blues doesn't give us easy answers. It makes us wrestle with those big questions long after the last page. Right. It's like those final chords just keep echoing. It's wild, isn't it? History, music, the supernatural, it all crashes together at this crossroads. Makes you think maybe the crossroads isn't just a place in Mississippi, but something we all face in life, you know? Oh, for sure. It's that moment when you've got to make a choice. Yeah. And sometimes those choices... Well, they have some serious weight to them. Big time. And you know who really embodies that? Dorothy. 
at first she seems so innocent, but then that guitar is pu- like she gets pulled in too. Well, yeah, she's got that legacy on her shoulders, right? Her grandfather's demons, maybe they're calling her too. Uh, makes you wonder: can we outrun the past, or are we doomed to repeat it? Especially when it comes to something as powerful as the blues, you know, a genre born from pain struggle. It's like those echoes just keep coming back around. And that's what Who Blues gets right. It's not afraid to show us how tangled up we are in those legacies, those choices, those echoes of the past. Man, this deep dive has been something else. Seriously, we've covered so much ground. So as we wrap things up, what's the one thing you want our listeners to take away from Hoodoo Blues? You know, for me, it's about remembering that even in the darkest moments, there's always a flicker of light. The blues, it's not just about sorrow. It's about finding the strength to keep going. Yeah, it's about resilience. So as you're reading, pay attention to how those characters find their way through the darkness. What choices do they make? What do they have to sacrifice? Exactly. This has been Pure Gold, my friend. History, culture, raw emotion, hoodoo blues is more than just a story. It's an experience. You've given our listeners a lot to think about, a lot to feel. And hey, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to crank up some blues and get lost in that world. So to all you listeners out there, grab a copy of Hoodoo Blues and get ready for one heck of a ride. It's a journey into the heart and soul of the blues. Thanks for tuning in.